Check, 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 check. Back with another episode of the DJ's Need Love 2 show. I go by the name of DJ Badio. I got another special guest in the building, man. Hard to catch, hard to find, but we got him. Hey, DJ Designer Kid. Checking in, Designer Kid, Designer Music 13 in the building. Shout out my boy Badio for having me. Yes, sir, man. Very adamant about getting the particular DJs that I want for season one. Uh, we made it work, bro. We got you in here, man. I appreciate it's a, it's a you. Tuesday day. So for DJs, man, you got to catch DJs during the day, man, because their night life is it's all booked up. You know what I'm saying? It's all messed up, man. That's for sure. Let's jump right into it, man. Let's give three DJs they flowers right now. Three DJs. Three DJs they flowers. That you rock with. That you rock with. You like they sound. You gonna get? I'm asking you why, too. All right. All right. My first going to have to be DJ Moot. And honestly, that was the first DJ when I came to Atlanta from Savannah. Um, DJ Moot? Yeah, the real DJ Mook on Instagram. The real DJ Mook, you already know. He was K E Cap One DJ. Okay. Um, shout out to Cap. Shout out to Street, Cap. Street Execs. Um, DJ Mook really showed me a different style of DJing that I hadn't really seen anyone do, and the way he uh, mixes and plays on sound effects and yeah, and and throws in drops with songs and takes bits and parts from songs and turns them into drops. Shit is just crazy. But yeah. also with the mask and that being a part of his entertainment. It's an entertainment part of it, yeah. It, it is dope. So. He brings the art, artistry into DJing. He yeah. brings the art into DJing. Right, so right. shout out uh, my big brother, Mook. Um, and he was the first one to show me love, like genuine love. Okay. Um, a lot of young DJs don't get that from older DJs. Yeah. Coming in, that's a fact. Trying to work that's a that fact, move, yeah. So shout out to him. Um, next DJ I have to say um, will be DJ Pretty Boy Tank. Shout out to Pretty Boy Tank, DJ Pretty Boy Tank. I grew up on Tank and Spins, uh, the whole Space Invaders series. Okay, that, that was epic. That sh that was classic. Real Atlanta know what's going on with that. Yeah. So um, and then after the fact, um, going on the road with Bankroll and seeing. Just how he gets them, everybody involved. Yeah, it's just dope. So, uh, shout out to Pretty Boy Tank. Shout out to Pretty Boy. And uh, my third will have to be, uh, man. We always make them choke up. Yeah, this is the uh, show. You know what I'm saying? You watch the man. show. You already know. They always, because we're giving DJs a flowers, man. There's so many so DJs that's popping. You know right. what I'm saying? But that's, that's, And then as we go throughout the show, you mention them. You know what I mean? We nah, shout them out. No, nah, that's for sure. And uh and then I have to say DJ DJ Mono, uh for for his international and being able to still be in the mix of the streets, yeah, um and bring those vibes together and not throw it off, like not completely go straight from the island straight to the streets, like it's a perfect blend right. that we we majority of us know how to do but it's yeah. just a certain way that he does it that i respect dope so, dope dope man shout out to shout dj mono you already know man so this is the djs need love too show bro you know we're sure. not gonna cut no corners with this shit you know this sure. is the our show you know what i'm saying sure. so what's the worst experience you ever had right now as a dj and you know before i got you on the show i did my homework i know that you know you've been doing this shit for a long time you know fucking one of the first people from strip club mafia and all that I appreciate so it, yeah. um what's the worst experience you had as a dj you could go from pay uh you couldn't find parking or some shit like that what's the all worst right. experience so i'm gonna say this um, you know where Monaco at? So right next yeah. to there, I was working at Sheik. I was basically opening up for them like every day, six, seven days a week. Okay. So it was going good for a year or whatever, but after a while, management starts switching. So you know how that go. Yeah. And it's like you get pushed out. With each manager, you gotta pull teeth and yeah, go through this and go through that. So I came across one mm -hmm. the final one before i stopped showing up like and it was on some every day it's an issue about payment and yeah. it's like it ain't got to be like that because the money good i know the, i know the money good yeah yeah so like what are we what are we even talking about oh we ain't making no money well let, let's talk about it let's talk about it so you know, it, it, just for the other DJs or anybody that's watching right now, sometimes we you, you do a club and they'll they'll wait to pay us. Right. They'll check. They'll say some slick shit like we got to wait for the bank statements to come back. We wait wait for credit cards to clear. So and and all clubs don't start off 
paying in bank accounts, some paying in cash. So right. if they start off paying in cash and then want you to convert to bank accounts, if you don't have a bank account and you get one and they're trying to deposit this large sum of money, they might hold your shit because yeah. it, it, it just look funny. You open an account and the same day you get in uh, two thousand dollars deposited in your account, right? Yeah, for a week's worth of whatever. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, we gotta step it up, man. You know, this is another reason why this show is inspired by the pay, the wait, the time that you know you already performed, you already right. put the the work in. Time, they already had fun. The money. liquors already drank. Right. You know, um, y'all made y'all money. Y'all made y'all. Made yeah, y'all, y'all making it. Yeah, and y'all trying to give us crumbs, but want us to do. And this is not just an Atlanta thing. This is you know major yeah. major cities. You know, for anybody that doesn't know, they will make a DJ wait a couple days to get paid. And they'll say some slick shit like, you know, we're waiting for credit cards and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Sometimes people be paying with fake money and stuff like that. I'm trying to work out the numbers. Working out sure numbers and shit like that, yeah. Okay, but I showed up. I did my part. Fact. And y'all made y'all money, so. That's a fact, man. I need mine. Man, it's crazy, man, out here. So what's the the biggest flex you have to date as a DJ? The biggest flex. Biggest I flex. Like, what's the best event you did? What's the most... Why does DJ? What's making DJ so fun for you right now? So fun fact, I don't know if you know. Uh, shout out to FLY to my brothers. Um, I was in, mm, I was in middle going to ninth grade, and I converted Swag Exception off MySpace. Okay. Into an MP3 um, form, put it on a CD, took it to a teen club. Mm. No one had ever heard it in like that kind of setting. You mm. hear it online, but no one could find it on LimeWire or nothing. So I did that. There's a LimeWire days, bro. I oh. did I did that. Taking it back to Took the it to uh, the club was called Hollywood over in Stone Mountain by okay. Stevenson. First, and the, and the only reason I did that was because he said Stevenson and I found out that V played football at Stevenson. Shout out to V. Right. So uh, we did that. Two weeks later, the song on the radio I'm like, wait, nobody knew about this a yeah. couple of weeks ago. So yeah. even I'm, in the, even in the city of Atlanta, in, in, in they knew about the song, but it wasn't it wasn't like what? it wasn't able available to get. Like it was hard to. It was get. one of those hard ones to get. Yeah, like, like, you like just you gotta, had a link, so yeah. you could just like post it on your page type like. But I got it basically out to the public. Okay, and I linked up with them. The same the same week I heard it on the radio, I reached out to him. I had already known Easton. Shout out my big brother Easton. Shout out to Easton, man. I see him. He's, he be he's heavy in the clubs, man. Uh, Pops out. Shout out Stone Mountain, the whole East Side. Like, mm-hmm. um, but for sure, um, reached out to them. They took me with them to every performance right. for about a year. Um, I was in the video. Mm-hmm. They had me bring some people that I rock with out, some dancers that could rock and. Um, Really show love, so swag surfing gets man. That's one of the songs that will never go anywhere. It's international. It's international is it, you man. It's it's yeah. one it's one song that could get everybody on the same page that no no other song can really do. Right, and you can play that anywhere, and everybody knows what's going on. So I want to segue out to the next question. So how do you deal with independent artists now? Like you know, when packages. It, one to the okay. Packages. Okay. Very packages, cause at the end of the day, if you're not willing to invest, let's, in, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, then why am I about to put the work behind making you pop for you to take off and go somewhere else and make money with some random dude you right. just met the next day? Because you, if you would have did the swag surfing right, knowing what you know now, I would be in boy, a, a right have been different, right? Yeah, yeah. But also on that end, it was some paperwork issues yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh police issues that happen uh with v so i i i, I do agree uh, but at the same time with some other stuff going on and also fun fact i was travis porter's cameraman before i was djing okay so we was teens and i was going everywhere with them real atlanta uh filming the the skating ring performances yeah and everything so Shout out to uh, Travis Porter. And so, my so you've been in the scene, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here since I was 14. Yeah. In Libra, Frequency. Yeah. Oh, man. We tra- a figure eight. 
chocolate, all that, I was out. So when you DJ in the city, man, shout out to Amaretta, you know what I'm saying? We, we that, you know, I spoke to her a couple days ago. Mm. I thought I was going to ask all my DJs this question. How do you so, feel about that record, being from your real Atlanta? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is it tough to play that song in certain spots where you're DJing at, or you just let it rock, or do you don't let it rock? Nah, I mean, I don't think people... I don't think people be that sensitive to the point where they like, bro, turn that shit off because we real Atlanta. But if you from where you from, you know. Nah, because she's dealt with some of that right now. Like, and turn I, that shit off because that's, I, you know what I'm saying? Especially I, when you. You going to get that. Been to the and, north side and, and shit you like that. Know, and you know that that's what come with a record like that. So at, at the end of the day, she was she needed to be prepared for that. But yeah. as far as me, I'm from Decatur. Yeah. So I'm from the east side. We. Nobody ever said that us being from Atlanta being the overall known spot of Georgia. Of Georgia. There you go, bro. To outer towners, they look at it as, as, Atlanta. as anything is Atlanta. We tell them Decatur, they're like, okay. I mean, it's like somebody from yeah. Kansas telling you exactly where they're from right. instead of the main major hub. So it's That's like, well put, bro. So it's like at the end of the day, you saying Decatur and all this other stuff ain't Atlanta. We say east of Atlanta. So you, we not even saying we, oh, we, we Atlanta, we Atlanta. Right. We Decatur. We, or we this, or we North Side, or we whatever. But for you to go ahead and put that distinction on yeah. it. make sure your research is done mm -hmm. make sure that all of the facts are in place because folks gonna That's a fact. be ready to tell you up designer this is a question that i just freestyle because i you know just heard you say it so i moved to atlanta about eight years ago now um big fan of brink real fresh you know yeah. what i'm saying i just heard you mention them so have you ever you used to you dj with them before yeah i in savannah um okay so big fan of bank road rest in peace brother man you uh, know long god live damn bro yeah um, long live man yeah, um street money worldwide forever yeah bro. street exact that's what i said i heard you mention a couple things so i'm just like oh let me let me throw that one in that wasn't even planned right? before street execs was built um i have i had my lady reach out to um basically bank and asked him for an interview mm -hmm. and he responded within two three days like yeah let's do it um we building the studio up but we got a room that's basically almost done come on with it so we got the interview um basically he liked our energy and told us that he had a show in savannah like a couple weeks later so we came out to savannah when he did come out to savannah something was going on with the system up there so they needed basically me to come and tweak it do your thing i i basically did that and he was like bro every time i come here i need you rocking with me. that's love man rest and, in peace man and his uh his apparel i i made his first uh like 25 jackets yeah designer kid man you know i had to get my brother on the show man you know what i'm saying out, shout out to bank shout out to bank man you that, was, know. that was a real that was a real one man so um questions we ask a lot of the djs man you know in the city of atlanta you know it's a turned up city yeah people walk outside lit you know what i mean rather right. w w w they smoking popping whatever they doing you know what i'm saying they lit so the question i want to ask you we ask everybody on season one is opening dj versus closing dj who do you feel more important to this to the actual event of the night the opener or the closer i mean they both play a big role but I'd say the closing because of the amount of people that are in there and what the overall point of the club is trying to do. Right. So as far as the opening DJ, yes, you matter, but at the end of the day, there are going to be more people there towards the end than in the beginning. That's well said, bro. Depending on when you're DJing, if it's like a brunch or something, then the opening DJ might have the more lit session right. because everybody's out on the Saturday at 2, at 1, at 12. So we're talking to a seasoned DJ. Let's talk budget. Who gets paid more or should it be even? It should definitely be even. I agree. This it's, is this is what we're talking. Let's, should, let's listen up. Why? definitely be But why, even? though, designer? Why? Because the the amount of work isn't isn't changed. Right. The amount of work isn't, isn't separated. It isn't different. The amount of people that are there doesn't change the fact that I'm still provide talk to him bro talk to him bro and and providing my service as well that's why you've reached out to me that's why i'm here doing what i'm doing so serato you know if you use serato if you don't have the whole yearly thing if it's monthly they don't charge the opening dj a lesser price than the closing dj you know what i'm saying so yeah. 
you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. We streaming music, it ain't a different price because right. you're a closer DJ. So this right. is why I agree with the fact that it should be an even slate, you know Definitely what I'm saying? Should be even. The, um I the pressure on the closing DJ is a lot because you know, you got you know, some of the most important people probably be in there at night. You know, this is Atlanta, this is a celebrity city, people like to come out late. You know what I mean? And um the foot traffic starts at late. So right. I, I agree with you with that aspect, bro. For but, real, for real. but that goes back into the clubs opening their budget. Like they think we're supposed Facts. to work for fucking crumbs and a drink and not even no food. Like they be di it's disrespectful at this. Let, let, let's set way that out real quick. You know what I'm saying? So, like I tell you on my show, I used to DJ seven days a week. I yeah. changed my whole structure, my whole pay, and now I'm only three days. You know what I'm saying? And I get paid really good from the spots that I, I work at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do you feel about that parking, paying for a parking, paying for a drink, paying that for a hookah? That shit is fucking wild. Before you even get paid, you have to Spend sell out how much? $150. So how much does it cost to, to party in Atlanta? Just at, at the bottom, at the bottom. You're paying, okay, if you're not parking in the front, if you're parking in the back on the side where ain't nobody got access to, you paying 20 to 30 to $40. That's before you get in. So let's basically say 20 you paying twenty to forty to get in. If you don't have an ID, you, that's another twenty. <laughs> you get in. You want to drink? That's another twenty because it's fourteen. You're gonna probably tip the bartender if you if she look like something. Uh, how much you out of a hundred already? Yeah, a hundred already. Easy. You can't okay. pay the DJ. What? We talking about one person right now, bro? I ain't getting no food. Yeah. I like I ain't. And I, and this is what done came out of my pocket to come in here. Mm -hmm. Like, no, we're not doing that. And then it's like y'all, y'all budgets be crazy as far as the aspect of what we deserve right. and what y'all give us. But folks be going. It's so many folks going, and and younger folks that don't know. Right. It's just like, oh, I see the opportunity. I see the opportunity. I'm take yeah. it, not knowing it's fucking up the business part of what we do what we do and then everybody look at the other well this a, that's a whole nother subject yeah. as far as uh djs not doing what they're supposed to do getting paid but it's like everything gets messed up in in what is that in context yeah because they're not doing their part as far as having a right budget for yeah. us so at the end of the day it's like shit you got to stand on your price you got to let them folks know this is what I'm coming I with. I think that's the biggest gem, bro. Standing on your price. And then let somebody let them book somebody else. Let, let them book that shit up. And then come back and I'm going to go up another hundred. I'm going to go up another hundred. I'm going to go up another. Because this is now it's, now it's later in, yeah. in the time of you needing me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to need some extra, like extra, extra bread. And you came to me once already. So elaborating on why DJs need love. You know, we... $3,000, $2,000 boards. You know what I'm saying? How much for the laptop, bro? At the lowest. At the lowest. At the lowest, you're spending 1300 on a MacBook. You could get a Toshiba for 1000 of a good Toshiba. But, for, but. But you need a Mac. There we go. So, so that's the, the gym. You need a Mac. You need the Mac. At the end of the day, you need a Mac. And yeah. that's starting at 13. 13, 15. We going up. I would say 15, 16. If you want some real performance yeah. type shit, if you, you, know, you want some. Yeah. I would go 15, 16. Yeah. And then the, the board about two stacks. And two then let's two talk, bands is the minimum. So let's talk DJ security. You know what I'm saying? You're walking in with about five. You got $5,000 on your person besides whatever you My wearing. My strap with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm in. I'm, I'm oh, yeah. But you develop relationships with you oh, know, a yes, lot of. Yeah, yeah. Security, We I've been good with security because I'm from here. So yeah, yeah. And these folks know me from being out. These folks grew up seeing me right. out. When they was be out and be beating on niggas, I would be right there. Yeah, with the with where the music at? Yeah, or uh, with my partners. Uh, my and this is gems, y'all. This is gems. My, you know what I'm my saying? homies, uh, fly guys used to be out terrorizing shit, but <laughs> uh, like at the end of the day, like them folk and they remember like everybody remember faces, even if they don't remember your name. Yeah, and now it's like, damn, what you do now? And it's like, damn, I done heard your name before. Online, yeah, going crazy. But this is, you know, this is what we go through, man, and it's really good. That's why I'm glad I got you here, bro. You know, OG Southside DJ out here. You know what I mean? Telling these people what they need to know. Let's be for the new DJs. Stop taking that. That that, that all money dollars, ain't good money. That hundred dollars. All money ain't good money. That hundred dollars for you working six, seven hours is not it. 
That's not it. So let me ask you this question. Let's segue into another one. Um, you from Atlanta? You know this is a trap city, right? How do you feel about when the promoters? Because I know you got a bag as far as the music. Right. How do you feel about when these promoters be like, yo, trap all day, trap, trap, just trap, trap, trap all day, trap not, all day. They you, just want to trap out here. I'm not listening to you. And then if you want to go another route, then that's cool. But that's not how. I feel the same way. I, I'm you. You book me to DJ. If you want to DJ, be a DJ. And you trap, trap, trap all day. But I'm going to left like three spots just because of that. I'm going to I'm going to feel the vibe. I'm going to fuck with the people. If it's a whole bunch of ladies in here, I'm going right. to give them some oldies. I'm going to give them some Ashanti. Right, I'm going to give go. them some, Come on. Let's some talk, boy. Let's talk about real it. Real music. Yeah. But if it's like a mixture of people and they want to, they ready to turn up. They done started drinking. They done got. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, a little under the influence and I'm a, we can trap it out and go back and forth but constantly trap don't nobody want to hear that shit all day strip club versus regular club DJ I say strip club simply because I <laughs> make more money in the strip club right let's, let's talk let's talk uh, I can't speak on what everybody else do um, you know how to back door it. Yeah. And you gotta learn the back door. We're gonna have a I'm, I'm gonna invite you back for another episode I on, on how to back door. <laughs> and we're gonna have um Serato gonna sponsor it. Okay, for sure. It's That's gonna be uh, I want you to do I want you to show people a set. You're kinda gonna give some things away. You're not gonna give all them away. You know what I'm saying? But Serato gonna sponsor it. That's we're hard. gonna call it the back door. I'm with it. Because these DJs don't <laughs> these DJs going to strip clubs mad because they leaving out with just three hundred dollars. You only left with the the, the regular pay. Nah. You didn't do your job, 11, my boy. Twelve. Yeah, like these, yeah. I know. I know DJ besides the Blue Mandela. I know the DJs down there. Shout man. out to Chaos. Shout out to DJ Chaos, man. Plug, 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 plug the for fuck. show. Yeah, plug, man. Plug. I've been plugged in. D. Plug got me next month. He said that's how busy the man is. He said next he month. Be, he be with me at KOD. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Plug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gonna plug coming up. You know, plug on. Plug got some shit to say. He said so. He said one come oh, right. He can't wait to come. Yeah, talk man. Shit. And I think when Plug come. I think the DJ community is gonna get like a fifty percent boost in what we are, whatever we doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. But this is the community, man. So this is the DJs need love too show, bro. One more gem on why the DJs need love out here, bro. I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for us, at the end of the day, we play a huge role in getting your music to the masses, mm -hmm. and. It's not gonna go straight to the radio. If it did, it's already a hit, and you don't necessarily. Right. You're not gonna, not necessarily, not, not need us, but at just at, at a certain. You done skipped to, the line already. To a certain extent, it's like you done skipped the line. Yeah. So at the end of the day, if you putting in that work and you're trying to, like I watched Rich Homie pass out his trunk. Yeah. Before I went to college, I watched yeah. him outside the club. You seen grinding. Out. You seen and, grinding, and, yeah, and it it made it made him, yeah, it made him into some shit. So at the end of the day, it's the groundwork. Um, I feel like basically like that's that's really what it is. One minute, bro, pop your shit. One thing you want to see up change about this game right now in the DJ life. Um, yeah, pop your shit. Pop your y'all motherfuckers shit. need to stop coming to the motherfucking booth asking, can you charge your goddamn phone? Whoa! Asking, can you sit your jacket up there? Asking, can I play your song? Cause you signed up. I don't give a fuck. They ain't give you no budget. They ain't, they ain't send you up here with no check for me. But you sitting here telling me who you signed to. All right, that don't do nothing for me. I got this. This my hustle. If I walk in your trap and I say, oh, I know so and so, that my big brother, bro. Fuck with me on the three five. Nigga, where your money? Where your money? I, I'm not doing this for no for no relationship, for no friendship. Like, this is a business. At the end of the day, we building relationships and business friendships, but this is about this is about business relationships. This is about money, which we yeah. here to make money. Ain't nobody doing nothing for free, so y'all stop playing that. Y'all go give a random chick who ain't got nothing to do with nothing, ain't going to help your career nothing, Five hundred to a thousand dollars, but won't invest that in a DJ playing your song for a week. I'm talking about three. They giving these chicks three bands to host. Y'all buying, bitch. Y'all buying these girls bags. Y'all bag. buying them. Y'all, yeah, it's, it's just bad. And they get mad when they ask the DJ asks for two hundred, a hundred dollar, bro. They bought a chick a Birkin, but get, yo, I, I look, look, look. <laughs> this is and this another gem for my DJs. Go print out, print out what 
it costs to get your song played, get it laminated at UPS for like two dollars. Take that shit to Titty. your to your DJ table on next to your DJ board. You don't have to talk to these niggas. Point. Reading is fucking We're fundamental. Gonna end that shit off just like that's a gem, man. This DJ designer kid, DJ Baddio here. Eastside representative. You already Patty. know, man. Shout out to Baddio for having me. It's all love. It's all love, man. This is another episode of the DJ Need Love Two show. I need you to stop. Subscribe, like, comment, share, tag, do all that fly all right, shit. You know what I'm saying? Support me, it's free, all right? Another episode of the DJs Need Love 2 show. We out. Gone. Boom. That's hard.